Hi, I'm Ankush Nayak and I'm here to talk to you about the solar eclipse tomorrow that is on the 21st of June 2020. Now, uh, to introduce myself, I am the director of IT at Expert Group of Institutions, Mangalore, and I have a master's degree in material science and engineering from the University of Arizona. And uh, I'm currently pursuing my PhD in materials engineering from NIT Suratka. Now, why do I want to talk to you about the solar eclipse? Recently, I was watching the news and I realized that most of the panel discussions or the interviews on these uh, news channels were focused on superstitions and uh, more, more like promoting the superstitions because the people on the discussions did not have a background in science. Uh, in fact, uh, I felt like science needs a voice and myself being a person from the science background, I felt that I can lend a voice to the scientific community by talk to, talking to you about uh, the different superstitions, the different misconceptions and misinformation out there uh, regarding the solar eclipse. Now, of course, uh, where do these uh, misconceptions come from? Mostly because it's 2020, you know how the year has been, it's been stressful for most of us and uh, we might all have a tendency to think, is the solar eclipse going to make it worse? Now the obvious answer to that question is no. Uh, now the solar eclipse generally has been associated with a lot of bad women and, and a lot of uh, uh, myths surrounding it, but you need to know that a solar eclipse is just another natural phenomenon. It's as natural as the shadow of your own hand falling on the ground or on your body. So if you kept a hand in front of uh, the sun, its shadow would fall on the, the ground, right? Or on the wall in front of you. How is that different from a solar eclipse? Absolutely not. It's just the moon coming in between the sun and the earth and the shadow of the moon is falling on the earth. It's as natural as the animal shadows that we do on the walls. There's absolutely nothing to fear about a solar eclipse. Now, of course, when I say nothing to fear about a solar eclipse, you should remember one thing. You should never be looking at the sun directly with your naked eye. Now, this is not something that is unique to a solar eclipse. Even on a regular day, you should not be looking at the sun directly because when you look at the sun directly, a lot of the ultraviolet radiation from the sun, which is naturally present, can do a lot of damage to your eye. It can cause even blindness and therefore it's never safe to look at it. When a solar eclipse is going on, there is absolutely no extra radiation coming from the sun. It's the same thing. But when it gets darker or dimmer, we have a tendency to look at the sun. On a bright day, you wouldn't be able to open your eyes in front of the sun. But on a dim day, like a solar eclipse, you might have that urge to look at the sun. And that is what causes damage because even that little bit of intensity from the sun can cause damage to your eyes. So therefore, it is not safe to look at the sun ever, not just during a solar eclipse. Of course, for all of you curious people out there, if you want to look at the sun, there is a solution. So. Of course, I'm not advertising for this, but you can use any uh, solar eclipse goggles. These are certified solar eclipse goggles uh, that you can get anywhere in the market. And uh, you can use these to look at the sun in a safe manner and uh, do not use any cooling glasses. You may have the most expensive uh, shades or uh, polaroid glasses. Do not use them. They're not safe. Uh, you have to use any uh, certified solar eclipse uh, goggles to look at the sun uh, during an eclipse and uh, it's, it's a beautiful sight to look at okay but do not look at it directly through your naked eye now just to address one common myth regarding solar eclipses is that a lot of people think can i eat during the solar eclipse can i uh, have a bath during the solar eclipse can i sleep during the solar eclipse of course you can do anything that you would be on any other day as I said, it's a natural phenomenon. There's nothing going to uh, you know, affect your day-to-day -day routine. So don't worry, you can eat all you want. You can cook during the solar eclipse. It's absolutely safe to do anything that you would do on a normal day. Do not listen to myths. Do not listen to such misinformation. If you have a personal belief, definitely go ahead and follow that. But if you want to look at it from a logical and a rational perspective, 
I urge you, talk to a person from the scientific background. Either go look it up yourself from reputed sources or if not, talk to someone who is a, sci a scientist, an engineer, a doctor and they will be able to uh, guide you better. Even a science teacher is in a good position to make you understand these concepts. So I am sure that all of you will have this curiosity to uh, really go and enjoy this day just like any other day and uh, make sure that you are not carried away by the misinformation on social media or on, on these TV channels. Just listen to the people who actually have the qualification to talk about it and stay safe. If you are looking at the sun, use the solar eclipse goggles. If not, enjoy with your family. Uh, it's a Sunday anyway. So stay safe, enjoy, have a great year ahead. Thank you. Thank you everyone.